Because uh, uh, the graphs I looked at were mostly complete. There were a few slides. Yeah, that's your thing. Where's your there's X squared minus two, right? Yeah. Kind of. Not perfect. Um, what I want to show you today is just a different way to graph parabolas. It's a very similar to something like what shape is that? Uh, that's, uh, that's a very, very good question. Oh, it's circle. A circle. Yeah. Okay. And then we also have things like yes, ellipse. I did not show you a hyperbola. Okay, just axed it because we missed those few days of sleep. So a hyperbola would look like this. See the difference? Yeah, that minus. Ellipse hyperbola. You just have the minus. Okay. Oh, so I did not notice that. I was like, what? <laughs> 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 yeah, it's what? Circle. Hyperbola. Oh, so hyperbola is basically the ellipse that's it's cut and turned out. You see the graph. But this you're not going to have to worry about. Right. Parabola has a similar equation to it. It'll still give you the same information, which is different than what we're used to. Okay. Uh, yes. Anybody in here have a satellite dish in their house? I want. Is it too popular here? Anybody? Jerry, shut up. Does anybody have a satellite dish? Oh, this. <coughs> you were talking about this one. Like. What shape is it? It's like a this. It's actually this. Is there like a cobalt? I don't know. It's a parabola. It's a parabola. It's actually a paraboloid, which is a three dimensional parabola. Parabola. Here's what's neat about parabolas. You see on a satellite dish, um, you always have the sensor out here. You do? Yeah. You have to. Oh. Okay. The receiver. The reason you have a dish shaped in a parabola is because all the signals can come from any different direction. And if you have a signal come in here, the shape of the parabola always bounces it to the receiver. It can come straight in. Unless it's covered with snow, then it won't be nice. Yeah, that yeah now if it's not shaped that like that with snow on it, obviously it's going to interfere with that function. That's why it just bounces the signal in different direction. Yeah, but that's the purpose of a satellite dish. So no matter what angle it comes, you have to. No matter. Yep, it'll, it can come in this direction and it'll still bounce right there. That's the purpose of a satellite dish, is to bounce all the signals to that one focal point. What if the signal is like, I'm not trying to so it comes from inside your house? Yeah. It's obviously not going to work. If it comes from inside your house, coming from the satellite in the sky. Uh -huh. ET phone home. There you go. It gets the right spot. Okay. So this is probably the biggest, the biggest application. And again, you can have um, bigger receivers and bigger dishes. Okay, receive lighter signals like we have big giant satellite dishes the size of football fields in New Mexico that are trying to find aliens. But what they're really finding is pulsar stars and galaxies far, far away. Right. The lenses? It works very similarly. Yeah, so... Um, I 
telescope's purpose is to magnify, right? So it's going to have a series of lenses in here. I don't know what they're shaped like exactly, but basically what they do is they take the light that comes in, but it passes through and it focuses all the light in one spot so you can see better. Right? So it's a very similar concept. I don't have the exact answer for that. It's very similar. Um, so parabolas are all over the place. We use them all the time. Take advantage of it. All right. <laughs> not okay, so there are a few terms that you don't know that come from this section. That's called an axis of symmetry. I knew that term. Some of you may have heard that. Because okay. it's symmetric on each side of the axis. <coughs> it's supposed to be. My drawing's not quite accurate. But I'm going to take these notes. Yes. You're a little far behind. Is that the same? Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, so the axis of symmetry is very important in parabolas. It splits in half. Okay. Um, we also have the focus. It just like an ellipse has two foci, or a focus and a focus, so there's a parabola. The circle has a center. Okay. And how you place them. We also have a vertex. Just like an ellipse. <coughs> and then the last thing we'll have is what's called a directrix. A what? Yeah, exactly. Did you say exactly? Isn't it the directrix? Isn't it the line where the... I've never seen the uh, graph. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's close. Yeah. Basically what you're looking at here is um, with the directrix, you go straight up to the parabola. You'll hit a point. And then if you go from that point to the focus, these lines should be the same length. That's the idea behind the directrix. Are we going to have to calculate that? Yep. Have to. Really Otherwise, your life is over. Whoa. Yeah, that got intense pretty quick. Just don't go camping with the outdoor club. Might be bad for you. What is that yellow thing? What ending? You guys can stop talking. So, from the directrix, straight up to the parabola. And if you go from that point to the focus, those two line segments should be the same way. That's what defines a parabola. Here's the format of the equation. It is a four and a p. Man, and there's no variable? What do you call the P? What does that mean? That X. Don't. Don't. I'm going to show you. It's all now. Is that X or one X? What do you think it is? Okay. I think it's just an X. I thought it was an X, because all the variables have an X, right? Yeah. Right. Half of the class would have gotten that wrong if you knew that. Mm -hmm. Vertex uh, is HK, just like the center of a circle or the center of uh, an ellipse. So H and K define your center or your vertex here. P is the distance from vertex to focus. 
to be at the different places for you. So here, obviously, you put four times that value to get the attention. P is also the distance from the vertex to the directrix. Right, because if I put a line segment here and here, that would be the same. Okay. You said P the first time is the distance between the focus and the vertex. Yep. And it's also the distance from the vertex to the directrix. Like I told you, if you draw a line from here to here, it has to be the same as from here to here. So, so we find P. <laughs> so that's the general form of the or the uh, form of the equation we use. That's kind of an alternative to what you know. Okay, it does give us a little bit more information if we're going to build things like satellite dishes. Okay, it just gives us a little bit more information. A bit more handy. How many squares are in a parabola? How many squares? One. One. Yeah, so pay attention to this. Oh, the yellow oh. is not working. Okay. I can see it this way. I can't see anything but a yellow little dot. Versus <laughs> yellow. How many squares does the circle have? Two. Two. Ellipse. Two. Two. Hyperbola. Okay. Okay, so parabola should be pretty easy to identify. <laughs> <laughs> minus h and y minus k. <coughs> the other so formula that I wrote down is for oh. sideways parabolas. Oh, that's for sideways? Okay, I'll make that clear. This is for up and down parabolas. Okay, so the x is squared. Yeah, okay. My apologies. It's getting towards me. Tell me about it. Uh, the checklist to make sure it's right. I Okay. Um, is the Y by itself yet? No. Okay, because then the equation has to be by itself, right? Okay. So we'll let's adjust that. How can we make that look like? Subtract 8 divided by 8. Well, subtract 40 divided by 1. Would that make it look like that? If you move the 48 over here, is there any number over here? It's not in the process. 4. What can I do with these? Divide them both by oh. four. You yeah, divide by eight. You can't divide. What's this left over? 
So I factored an 8 out. Oh, and then the other part's just X zero. minus now does zero. It look better. Yeah, because yeah. the other one would just be zero. Yeah, because this is X minus zero. Oh, I get it. Right. You don't have to put the P variable in there? It's there. Yeah, you just have to divide the by 4. So it's 0, negative 6, so 40. times. This is 4 times 2, right? Oh, so I what's see. the P? Yeah, your P value is 2. So it's 4 times P. And then what's our vertex? Zero, six, zero, zero, zero six, negative six. Negative six. <laughs> this is zero, negative six. P is two. Go up two, there's your focus. And your directrix. How do you know how far down you have to go? Yeah, it's the same distance as three. Thank you, Pat. Problem. Okay, so what's the equation of the directrix? Wait, what's these here? No, that class. Y equals negative 8, because that's a line, right? Yeah. Absolutely. What are the coordinates of the focus? Zero. Negative 4. Okay, we have the vertex already written out. Okay, what's the axis of symmetry? Zero. 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 Zero is a point. Zero. Zero infinity. X equals zero. It's a line, right? It's a vertical line. Yeah, x is zero. Here's a vertical line. Oh. That's your axis of symmetry. What? Why is it? Why is it? Okay, how are we going to make the shape of the parabola? Okay, done. How do we know the two little where they get on the x axis? That's a good question. How would you know where they hit the x axis? I don't know. What's zero? <laughs> you put something into which point y to zero. X squared. X is zero here. We need y equals zero. So I'm going to put zero in for y. So x squared is 48. Squared is 48. So the square root of 48 equals 6 point something. Almost 7, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, 49 would be 7. So 6 point. <coughs> okay, so <coughs> somewhere in there. Yeah. There, and then you can finish your. So you do need two other points to finish it. Okay, so that's that's the up and down that you're used to. Are we going to do the sideways to too? Do you want me to show you sideways one? No. Are we going to get homework for the sideways? Probably. It's the same equation except uh, x minus something. x minus y squared. Thanks for understanding. Whatever. 
Oh my God. I can hear you. I can hear you. Thanks for me asking. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. That's a good question. I'm going to go ahead and write um, an X right there. Notice the Y squared, right? Okay, that's sideways. Is there nothing on the outside of X minus two? So you know that it opens to the right because this is positive. So what's the... Wait, don't you mean like the whole P? It's going to be negative 2 and 4 or 2 and 4. I got there. 2, 4. Right? Yeah. Oh, let's go. What is our value of P? 0. 0. What's up front? It's one. It's one. 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 So it's one. So it's P or So this is four times P. Yeah, what does so P have to be to give you one? One four. Yeah, one four. So that means it goes to the It's very small. It's very, very little. So we can start graphing this. He is a fourth, so we're going to be like focus. Sideways paradigm. Right. Um, the directrix is now in x equals one, two, one and three fourths. Okay. Is two yeah. minus the fourth. The focus is two and a fourth. And four. And then the axis of symmetry. Is that four or y equals four? Right? Y equals four. Notice these batch. Mm -hmm. And what would you find? In the what are the coordinates again? Make it four two. Which one? Is that just the, the vertex? The vertex is 2 4. Then you add a fourth and subtract the fourth from the x value to get your Okay. If this opens that direction, we're not going to have two intercepts, are we? Okay, but we do have an x intercept here somewhere. Yeah. Probably. Right? And can we just copy so it? y is 0 at that point. You wouldn't make x 0? So if x is 0, that's where we're hitting this axis. Oh, OK. OK, that's not going to happen here. But x-axis, we're going to hit, I think, at some point. So, so 16 equals x minus 2. What? 18. Pretty far out there. Huh? Position at 18. Way out here. That's where it hits the x axis. Cool. Would you copy it over? We could make it a touch yeah. more friendly. How? Well, if you don't want to extend your graph out, you can pick a different no. value here. Oh, he is how far the focus is away from the vertex. The distance. So the focus is seven. The focus is so like four x equals four. Away from the so if x is four, we have so y minus four equals four. Y is eight. Positive. Let's see. Two. Did I do that math right? Or am I just losing my mind? Um, y minus four so if I picked x is 4, okay. 4 minus 2 is 2, 
What is square root of both sides? Oh. You got it. Okay. That rang when you were mine. I knew it had something stupid. So we could have really done the square root of 15. Root 2. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> Oh, I'm getting confused with you, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. I have no idea. I lost you a minute ago. Okay, so I'm trying to find a couple of points to graph here. Mm -hmm. So I picked x equals 4 to get the points in this area. It ends up being root 2 plus 4. So like 5. So 5.414. I don't have the and then you come down and the nice thing about parabolas is they're symmetric so once you get one of these points you got the other right. and then it's good like positive open the right it's pretty rare to deal with those to be honest with you mostly we just stick to the x-axis the up and downs like this. So if you learn, if you're working with this just fine, you're in pretty good shape. Questions? No. Okay. Now I can stop confusing you and just give you something to do. <laughs> Okay. Part of our conversation around these shapes has been um, how they're used in the world at large, right? So here's the deal. Friday is test day. If you bring in a shape that's a circle, an ellipse, or a parabola, or a hyperbola if you want. You don't have to be. Good luck. There are some convex lenses yeah, that are hyperbola. Yeah. So if you bring in a shape, everybody, everyone bring a shape, then I will give you the test to take home with you. Everybody better. Everybody bring, bring, bring a shape. What happens if we're not here? Like oh. Can we just do it like Thursday? It has to be, it has to be tomorrow. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. We're going to start passing just out. Just a shape. Like Any no, circle, no, ellipse, or no, parabola. Okay, now be, be aware. The group in here, somebody's like, dude, I forgot. And a friend hands them a water bottle and they say, I got a circle. And you say, okay, that's a two. Right? I'll bring you so the more inventive your shape, <laughs> just bring if you bring in an ellipse belt buckle, okay. that's a little bit more than a water bottle circle. And it get a higher grade. Bring the switch. Everybody bring something. I'm just going to give you a test to take with you. Hey, you're going to be gone Friday. She'll probably bring it in tomorrow. <laughs> 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 okay. If you're going to be gone, anybody going to be gone tomorrow? Already gave it to you. It's in your packet. Is anybody else planning on being gone tomorrow? Okay. So bring your shapes tomorrow. That's why they need to bring shapes. I was going to tell you yesterday, but I forgot. So there you go. Yeah, I just only bring it to the class. Yeah, I brought it to the class. I got six text messages. Oh, my God. 